Hi everybody, Sean James here. Welcome back to the cabin. It's a Friday the 26th or 27th, maybe the 28th, not sure what the date is, but it is Friday. It's the day that I've been waiting for for all the, my friends to arrive so that we can work on that new project I was telling you about. It is brutal out here. It's been nice most of the week, fairly nice. And of course today we got periods of rain up to uh, 40 or 50 millimeters, which is a couple of inches of rain. So that's on top of all that snow melt. Uh, record snowfall here and this year and uh, all that melt water going into the system the water systems and then this rain on top of that today massive flooding south of here uh, four or five six towns including uh, the city of Ottawa which is our our uh, capital of Canada is has declared a state of emergency because of flooding so this is not uh, not good timing not good weather but stick around wait till you see what it comes tonight this is bad enough um, unfortunately, the guys that were supposed to arrive, three of them of the five, you know, they didn't cancel, but they rescheduled for tomorrow morning for various reasons. Um, <laughs> you wonder why I call it my self-reliance and, uh, and why I do a lot of solo stuff. That's one of the reasons. Um, I'm going to turn around so you can actually see my face pretty dark here. Hopefully that's a little bit better. Um, yeah, so like I said, I don't know. I've mentioned this a couple times in the past. Probably been a couple years though. Um, my self-reliance, a big part of why I called it my self-reliance, is that I tend to um, I not only do things alone a lot, but I do that intentionally because uh, when you rely on other people, uh, you put undue stress possibly on the relationship. So in other words, if um, those guys didn't show up at all and it uh, left me hanging, I couldn't get the work done that I needed to get done or wanted to get done around here, then I'd be in a real bind. Uh, by being independent, by, by uh, being self-reliant, um, whenever people are helping with, with me with something or what, uh, when I'm going on a trip or something and somebody's accompanying me, it's actually just a, a bonus. I'm content to do it alone and I'm capable of doing it alone. So I have an upcoming uh, canoe trip in a couple of weeks, a week-long canoe trip. With a couple of these guys if for some reason they can't make it personal reasons family reasons whatever it is then it doesn't matter because i'm actually set up 100 percent to be self-reliant and independent on that trip so my own canoe my own you know, gear my own food everything literally i'm going regardless if they come along or one of them comes along they will also be totally independent and autonomous so that they're going al alone with their own gear and if we separate it even, then we would both uh, totally be functional. So, that is why I have this channel, My Self Reliance, why I created this brand. Water is probably kind of annoying. I've got all the pails out, all the um, maple syrup pans or pails like I did last year to collect this rainwater. It's good drinking water, it's good uh, washing water. I'll actually fill up the basin in the, in the sauna with some of it. But uh, I'm going to move that lid because it's bouncing off that lid right now. It's making a lot of racket. Anyway, I wanted to make that point, though, quickly before I get into the rest of this video and the rest of this weekend. The other guys are showing up tomorrow morning. The uh, uh, two of the guys are about to arrive right now. So we'll, we'll meet uh, up with them. I'll probably put that in another video. In this video, I just really wanted to talk about self-reliance, why it's important to me, why um, I'll continue to be that way regardless of whether... I have family or friends uh, accompanying me and helping me out on my journey. So I, that, that's my, that's a kind of a, my tip. I, I would offer it up as a tip if you want to take tips from me. Is that the more, well, there's one of them now saying they've arrived. Uh, the more self-reliant you can be, um, not um, it doesn't make you a hermit. Doesn't make you necessarily withdraw from society, but makes you more capable of doing what, it, uh, fulfilling your potential, doing living the life you want to live without. Um, other people impacting you and when they do have an issue that comes up that's personal that prevents them uh, from being with you then you're less uh, likely to be upset with them like I'm not with them I understand they have issues that uh, they have to deal with uh, wh whether it's the, the weather that's uh, uh, stopping them from coming today or not um, it does, it's irregardless to me I'm fine with that and I'm not going to hold it against them so I'm going to go meet the other two guys and I'll see you in the next video. So, well, uh, thanks for watching this one and I look forward to seeing you up here at the cabin next time. Probably tomorrow actually. So see you then.
Legendary place, man. 